Welcome back to Showbiz Express. Joining us now, the stars from the ABC series of Kings and Prophets, Ray Winstone and Ollie Ricks. Hello, Ross. Hello, Ross. Hello, gentlemen, and thank you for joining us on Showbiz Express. This is a fascinating project. A Bible-based epic becomes a weekly primetime series. Ray Winstone, let me begin with you. If you could give us an overview, how is the series laid out? It's nine episodes, Ross, and um, really it's an ensemble piece in a way. It's You grow to know every character in this, and you never know when they're going to leave and when they're going to get killed or or something terrible is going to happen to him. But the beauty of the series for me personally in playing King Saul was to have those nine hours, to develop a character over nine hours and to show where he's going. Uh, you know, I read up on King Saul and uh, what interested me was um, he was on the borders of bipolar. You know, this man who was a farmer who becomes, you know, through the prophet Samuel becomes, he's chosen to be king, king of Israel, you know. Uh, uh, you know, and then the, the whole strain of it and the stress of it starts to weigh down on his shoulders. So, for me, just, just the illness alone, uh, and you know the rents and the rages and the the loves and the brutality of the men is, um, you know, basically a good guy, believe it or not. So that kind of um, that kind of really um, drew me in, and, and uh, that's the one thing that I wanted to play him for. And Ali Ricks, your role is David. How did you approach the part? Um, well, I mean, it started with some just some basic research, uh, and I realised quite quickly that my understanding of the story was pretty uh, pretty basic. Um, it was just a David and Goliath mm -hmm. from you know kids Sunday school kind of thing, and uh, and I started speaking to the writers, and they they were really interested in talking to me about gangster films and. Uh, the Godfather and the Sopranos and stuff, which was a real curveball to me. I didn't expect that at all. And then when I read the Old Testament and the relevant books, Samuel 1 and 2, I realized that David's story is um, extensive and uh, expansive. And he does some some amazing things and some terrible things. And like Ray said, the, the sort of gift of being able to explore that over nine hours of TV rather than an hour and a half in a film is is mm. kind of too good to miss really. Mm. Now for both of you, Mr. Winstone first, what were the challenges in playing King Saul for you? Really, um, the challenges are you, you want to do it to the best of your ability. Um, the homework that you, you, you would probably do because you're playing someone that you know scholars know about, um, I didn't know too much about him but I think a lot of a lot of that comes from having really good scripts in the mm. first place. You know, um, good scripts, then you can bring your own stuff to good scripts. Uh, if you've got terrible scripts, it's much more difficult. Uh, we were lucky enough to have a, a team of really good writers, <laughs> really writers and a team of really good directors as well. So, you know, that, that kind of takes the burden away from that a bit. But I, I must say it was physically and mentally a, a tough job to do, you know, because you know the heat we were working in, and um, the, the situation sometimes of of being in pain. You know, whilst you're acting, you 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 you're acting pain. You use your body to in a way you probably wouldn't use on many other jobs. So, uh, you know, and the costumes were very heavy, and in the heat they didn't help. But so that was a, that was a, that was a challenge in itself. You know, uh, you you had to uh, drink plenty of water. Because the heat was immense, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. Yeah. <laughs> that was the biggest challenge for us, I think. Uh, uh, but as I say, the scripts were, were were already there, and we tinkered with them a bit, you know, and and we brought our own stuff to the show. But we, when you have a script that good, you can do that, you know. Yeah. And Ali, I'm thinking of the famed lion scene. How did that all come together? I mean, I I, I had to. I did that all in isolation, obviously. Uh, um, it was just me and a, a tennis ball on a stick, but the, uh, the lion was in LA in a studio, so we never actually met face to face. But um, I think uh, Michael Offer, the director of the pilot, had a lovely reference. Uh, he kept using um, the sort of the lone gunslinger as a reference, and he also referenced a lot of samurai films, um, something sort of ritualistic and something kind of. Um, zen and uh, calming about arming yourself to face something like that, which I think was a really interesting thing to explore and a really great genre to try and pull into what we were doing just to give it a different flavor or a different edge. Mm. 
Um, so that's really what I was focusing on when we were doing that scene. Finally, gentlemen, the viewer who sits down to watch this series, how much does he or she need to know about the Bible? None, really. No, uh, I don't think so. You know, it's really basically about family, you know, and I guess uh, if you know what's going on in the world today, um, you can relate to this as well. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, nothing changes. The human race is what we are, and, um, and I think that portrays it lovely. You know? Yeah. Of Kings and Prophets, a nine-part ABC series. Ray Winstone, Ollie Ricks, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much.